Hello, this presentation is the second of four presentations which provide an introduction to assistive technology for computer access. Part 1 was an overview of assistive technology. Part 2 will provide an overview of assistive technology for monitors. Parts 3 and 4 cover the various types of assistive technology available for keyboards and mice. Please note that this presentation will advance by itself, and all you need to do is observe and listen. I will read and explain all information as we go along. This presentation is an overview of some of the assistive technology available for people with vision issues or impairments. The following topics will be covered in this presentation. Types of monitors available on the market today. Display settings for your monitor. Magnification options available text-to-speech options available, and braille displays. Additional information regarding the specifics of adjusting your monitor will be provided in a future session discussing eye strain solutions. For those of you who do not have any issues with your vision, you may find this information will be valuable to you in the future, as the majority of people experience some deterioration of their vision around the age of 40. Most monitors on the market today are flat panel LCDs. These monitors are a great option when space is limited, as they have a small footprint on your desk. They also have a plastic coating, which provides an anti-glare surface, which is preferred to the standard CRT monitors with a glass surface. One of the first options to consider when you require accommodations for a vision impairment is to select a larger monitor. Most monitors on the market today range between 19 inches and 24 inches. When determining the size of a monitor, it is measured diagonally. You may also consider a widescreen format for your monitor. These are very popular for playing wide format movies, but are also very useful for displaying more text across the screen, even in a larger font. Although they are more difficult to find in stores today, CRT monitors still provide excellent brightness and contrast settings. However, due to the glass surface of the monitor, glare can be a problem. Another excellent option to improve visibility using an LCD is to mount it on a monitor arm. This arm allows you to reposition the monitor with just one hand. Most of them provide up to 360 degrees of rotation, and some can even provide up to 200 degrees of tilt. This will allow you to move the monitor to its best viewing position. Next, let's look at the display settings that are, that are available through Microsoft Windows. Here is a screenshot of the normal sized icons and fonts. Through the display properties, which are built into Microsoft Windows, you can adjust the size of the icons and text on your screen. You can see in this example that the icons are now much larger, and the text underneath them also has been made larger. You can also adjust the display properties to give you a high contrast display. In this example, the background is black and the text is white. Optionally, you can have this reversed or even customized for your vision. Also available as part of the Windows operating system is a feature called Magnifier. This option allows you to split your screen between a regular display and a magnified display. Magnification range is from 2 times to 9 times. In this example, the magnification is set at three times, and the screen has been split so the top half is used for the magnified display. As you move your mouse around the screen, the magnified area will follow the movements. Although this magnifier can be useful, it is also a bit rough. When you increase the magnification beyond five times, the text becomes quite jagged on the edges and can be difficult to read. Alternatively, there are commercial software programs which provide much smoother magnification. These programs can enlarge anywhere from 1.25 times to 36 times. They can also provide what is called full screen magnification, which means that the magnified area covers your full screen. You are working with a virtual screen, which might be six times the size of your actual screen. When you move your mouse, you're actually just seeing a small part of the full screen magnified on your screen. It is possible to magnify elements on your screen so that an icon might take up your whole screen. Usually if someone requires this level of magnification, it may be time to move to another source for output. It becomes very difficult to read text smoothly when you cannot see more than a couple of letters at a time. 
Another option to reading the text off screen is to use your speakers and have the computer read the text to you. These software programs are called screen readers. When using a screen reader, a visually impaired person will have access to most of the information that is available to a sighted person. Unfortunately, especially on the internet, some applications and websites are not fully compatible with screen readers. Your speakers can also be used to provide a typing echo. This is where your typing can be read to you as you type. For example, you can select to have each keystroke echoed to you. This would mean that when you press a letter on the keyboard, you would hear that letter spoken. This is useful not only for people with a vision impairment, but also people who have difficulties typing. It provides you with an auditory feedback to confirm that you have pressed the right key. Alternatively, you can also have each word spoken to you as you finish typing it, and each sentence spoken to you when you press the period. If you have any difficulties with typing, spelling, or writing, these options can help you to improve your skills. For someone with a vision impairment who has learned Braille, there is another option for receiving output from the computer. You can use a refreshable Braille display. This is quite an interesting piece of hardware. It sits in front of your keyboard and is comprised of a grid of small holes with movable pegs that pop up and down and allow someone to run their finger along it and read Braille. The Braille letters continue to refresh as the person reads down the text on screen. This concludes our overview of assistive technology for monitors. If you have any questions on this presentation, please do not hesitate to contact your assigned facilitator. Please continue by viewing the presentations on assistive technology for keyboards and assistive technology for mice. Thank you.